Okay, so we're back and my rock is pretty much dry and I think I'm going to just go for it. I'm going to start getting my dotting tools. I've got my pencil, so I'm going to use the end of the pencil for the biggest dot. Later on, I'll be using the smallest dot using the top of the pencil. I've got the two sizes of wooden dill and I'll be using this one first. So first of all, I'm going to get some pink and I'm going to dip the pink in and then I did my wee practice dot at the side there because my second one is the best if you look at the dotting tutorial and there's just a wee tiny bit of blue there that's not quite dry so I might have to come back to that actually and paint over that. So just make sure yours is dry and we're going to do a nice pink dot in the centre. We'll come back to the pink but we're going to move on to uh, back to the purple and the blue. So we're going to do a stripe going down each um, triangle here. We're going to have the purple going down the blue and then the blue going down the purple and so on. So I'll show you that. And we're going to use our next biggest tool, which is this. So we're looking for the best end. Got a nice flat end here. So I'm going to start off in this section. So I'm going to use the blue. And I'm just going to dip that in there. Now, I've been practicing doing dotting for quite a, a long time. So I'm kind of using pressure there for my first dot that I know it's not going to put too much on it, I just very gently press it. I would recommend you, you get confident with your dotting before you try that. I'm just doing it for quickness really. But to get you started you'd always do your first wee dot there and then your second dot on the stone. Okay, And I'm just popping a wee dot underneath there. And I'm going to rotate it round and I'm going to do the next section that's purple. And I'm just going to bring that down the centre and just evenly spaced. Just a wee bit of space in between. I always do a fresh dip into the paint. It's really sparkly, it's lovely. That wee bit's annoying me, but I'll sort it out later. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to pop the last wee stripe down here. And there we go. It's always good to have a wee tissue just to wipe off the paint colour that you're you know you're working with you can also use a wee baby wipe or something that's that's usually quite helpful to clean in between so I'm going to move to the purple colour now and I'm dipping that in and I'm just doing the same thing I'm going down the centre like so Okay, and I'm turning round to the next section. And you'll start to see there's a wee circle forming there. Again, like the mandala, everything radiates out from the centre. All the patterns. There we go. And then round again. I'm 
Sometimes I double dot as well. If I feel the first one was a bit stingy. <laughs> you know, there wasn't enough on there. Stingy is a good Scottish word. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe that until now. And I'm going to change to silver. Yeah. Okay, so for silver, what we're going to do, we're going to use the smallest dot and we're going to go around the edges there. Just we're going to start working down the seams between the colours but I'm just popping a wee dot there just around that pink circle and in between each colour so hopefully you can see that okay it's hard for me to have a wee look because my holder and my phone uh, for my video is quite big. Now I'm going to work down each seam now and I'm going to so equally space the silver down to about halfway and then I'm going to change to the bigger size. Okay, so I'm just giving that a wee wipe. So I'm moving to this size now, checking what end is the best and then I'm moving to the bigger one. And then I'm going down the edge as well. Okay, so I'm going to do that again. All the way around. Sometimes you get more than one dot out of the smaller tools. Not always though. And then I'm about halfway so I'm changing to the bigger tool. Off the, the side there, and then I'm turning it around, giving that a wee wipe. Okay, and then all look the same, just going down the side. the rest of this video what I'll do is I'll just speed it up and I won't talk too much and you'll see how that all comes together. 